Twitter in general, like new projects, new collabs, new shows, like what does what does Top Off want to say? I don't know what's going on with shows and shit, but I'm making a lot of music and I'm trying to connect to everybody I possibly can. So if you understand what I'm saying, you understand the message, then we gotta connect. You know what I mean? If however possible through music, through art, through through anything. I'm just here to like connect with everybody. You know what I mean? I'm not like secluded from anybody. I'm here like with the earth. I'm here with everybody with the humans. I'm here with everybody like right here. So I just wanna get my message out to everybody. That's really it. And I don't, I don't care about the monetary aspect of it. I just want to get that shit out there. So if you if you if you want to you know if you're down to make that happen, then I'm with you. You know whatever. You, if you're spreading peace, love, and positivity, then I'm with you. 100. percent before what's like your insight or like depth of knowledge into that just if you listen to like the, the interviews that you can find of them and the quotes that you can yeah and, but not like what's presented by uh people who would be associated with government and law enforcement. I'm gonna tell you the story of a of like a mass murderer. I'm gonna present like a horror story. And you listen to people who are like like associated with it, uh -huh. they'll tell you about massing the person. And massing the person is just like like what you would what you would like equate to being like a hippie Jesus. He just had like like an ultimate like philosophy for like living like natural. You know what I mean? Like living away from being like like capitalism, like commercialism. He took psychedelics and like realized like the truth about like everything. You know what I mean? And it's like when you, that's like when you listen to him talk, he sounds like a crazy person because it's like to be able to articulate like the the truth of the universe is uh -huh. not an easy task. You know what I mean? It's not something that you can just do like in one sentence or in a, in a paragraph. If you listen to him talk, it's like glimpses of like the truth. You know what I mean? The truth about reality. something to sell, you know what I mean, give the mafia something to sell. Bringing that aspect into it, that made like the whole like family life a lot darker, you know what I mean, because people are going to be like, people, specifically like one person in the family is like, sold drugs. Like a big reason he's in jail right now is because he didn't snitch, because he knows the truth about like the whole crime, you know what I mean, he knows everything, you know, he knows it all, bro, but he won't snitch. You know, they got to paint him as a crazy person, but if you can actually like, if you know, you know what I mean, if you have it in your brain, if you have intelligence in your brain, and you can like see, you can connect the dots. Don't get me wrong, he's not like the perfect person, he's not like an angel, and he did some bad things. But, I mean, he was used to kill the 60s, he was used to kill the, the hippies. The government used him to kind of paint this picture of like what, what you would be if you were a hippie. You really have to do your research on it, you really have to study, you really have to be open minded to it, you can't go into it like, the way the way most people go into expecting like his story of a mass murder where he did all these things and manipulate the whole realm of everything. You'll be able to like understand that he's he's connected to like the truth of the universe. He's connected to the animals, he's connected to like nature, you know what I mean? Like he knows what we need to do. I mean he's dead now, so rest in peace. But it's like his mentality is still like very much alive. I'm not saying that you go into it by like, being a master follower or something to say, you know, like so to speak, being like uh, believing everything. But you have to make your own opinion about it. And I feel like if you have like intelligence enough and you have like open especially if you do psychedelics. He had this thing called Atwa. This this thing he started called Atwa it means air, trees, water and animals. And it's like it's just mentality. Getting off of like you know what we're doing as humans, we're killing the earth. And people don't, even myself, you know, we don't take that seriously. But it's the truth, you know what I'm saying? And so if you accept that as the truth, and you want to make change, then you have to accept the mentality of like Apple. It's what he's preaching, it's air, trees, water, and apple. Just have to care. Tell me about Helter Skelter. Helter Skelter, bro, that's like, 
there's two levels of health skeptics. There's the first level that's like the level that's generally known, and that's the level that that's the perception that Health and Skelter is a race war that Manson wanted to incite between white people and black people in, in Los Angeles specifically and like Cali and really the whole world. He didn't want to start it initially. He was saying that it was coming. People started to say that he said, well, okay, we got to get it started. They're not doing it themselves. We got to get it started. And the race war would be a big war across the whole world against like white people and black people. And white people would lose this war. They would be completely like wiped out except for his family. His family would go like to the desert and hide like a, a hole that called like Devil's Cane or something like that. But after the colored people like ruled the world for uh, X amount of years, they, they wouldn't be, they wouldn't be smart enough to, to run it sufficiently. So they would come to the family and ask for help. It'd be the only white family, but they'd be the rulers of the world. And after they did that, they would repopulate the earth. If you ask Manson what Health and Skelter is, Health and Skelter is the story that the prosecutor created to, to, paint, to, to get him arrested. They painted this as his motive. Like this is what the prosecutor created and sold. And that's why he, the prosecutor himself has a book called Helter Skelter. Even deeper than that, he said that he started a nightclub in Wings when he was with his family in the desert. They started a nightclub called Helter Skelter. It's a Beatles song on the White Album called Helter Skelter. So it's just something they were listening to. It's just something that they like, you know what I mean? It's just something that they had. Obviously, I'll, I'll say this, around that time in, in the 60s, there was a lot of tension between white and black. You know, people people might think what they think, but but according to Manson, there was no, there was no like, they weren't like, you know, soldiering up to go to war. They were just trying to protect themselves, you know what I mean? All right, so that's what Manson thought, but what does CJ Topoff think? What does Helter Skelter mean to you, man? Helter Skelter is just like, it's just confusion, bro. Helter Skelter is the general confusion of the world. Like, we don't understand what we're doing. We don't understand the chaos that we're doing. So, with that, anything can happen. Like, any kind of war can happen. Any kind of, you know, catastrophic event can happen. It's just like, there's no telling what, what we're doing. Is there still love involved in Helter Skelter? Yeah, oh yeah. No, the love in Helter Skelter is... Is Helter Skelter darker, or is it still like the top off hippie presence, you know? Helter Skelter is, is a mixture, because Helter Skelter is, it's not one thing, it's like, it's like up and down, you know what I mean? That's the kind of Helter Skelter to me, it's kind of like up and down, but it's like, it's a little bit, there's some songs that are really like vintage ass, top off, like positive hippie shit, then there's some songs on there that's real dark, like, pretty much painting the top of what would be like a murder, you know what I mean? Hey. <laughs> But it's like a mixture, it's not just like dark or, or like, you know what I mean, it's just a mixture And there's some songs that are like, just reflective, you know what I mean, it's like me talking about my personal self It's not even like, based on the story itself, it's just me, you know, doing my, doing my thing Because Health and Skeleton is just like, a mind state thing it's just like a general mindset that we have to like be aware of what we're doing, you know what I mean? We have to, everybody has to wake up or this shit's gonna go down. That's it.